everybody welcome back and in last week's video we looked about the 539 AD being the peak period of the man of sin and we looked about the man of sin's period or the, or the peak period is like 1260 years and then we also looked about how that the Pope by King Justinian was given the civil power in 539 AD as well as well as the religious power then we all know due to this what would have been the consequences the true Christians were tortured burned alive and beheaded and due to this since the papacy was from the paganism the old Roman truth which they used to force the Christians to believe in them and gain control of their religion so this is what they did and this is the start of the peak period in 539 AD and the peak period we know is 1260 days so all together that makes it 1799 AD when the peak period finishes so let's see what happens in 1799 AD so when we looked about this there's the French Revolution so it's by King Napoleon so he was under the 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 Brittany military he was under them and King Napoleon and then there was a Pope then called Pope Pius the Sixth, and Pope Pius the Sixth um, was arrested by King Napoleon on February tenth, seventeen ninety eight. He was arrested, not ninety nine. So he was arrested in that year, and then King Napoleon under the brethren military after he, he was carrying on taking over many military states he was king napoleon and then finally he took over pope pius's the sixth land and then the papacy government had completely fallen nothing could be done and then when pope pius died in 1799 the papacy government had fallen and so had finally the holy government of the holy roman government had fallen as well and it's prophesized about this in daniel 7 chapter 25th verse and romans 13 chapter 3rd to 5th verse it's come prophesized about this then we know about how we've been looking about the timeline of god's kingdom in the first few weeks the timeline was very important and then that's the main point we've been looking about, the second presence. And the second presence will lead to God's kingdom. The reason why we looked about the second presence was the timeline, so we could find out his presence. And so far we're going on a good rate. And to find out the second presence, the second presence actually only happened when the peak period of the 1260 days finishes in 1799. So next time we look about the proper dates and exact time about Jesus Christ's second presence. So till then, see you then. Bye.